First time ever, Americans' credit card balances surpassed $1 trillion in 2023, according to data released by the Federal Reserve Bank of New York. As we're all assessing the damage to our credit cards after our holiday spending, some of you may be considering getting help. But our national consumer investigator, Rachel DePampa, spoke to experts who warn about an uptick in scams related to credit repair and the debt relief industry. I like a visual, so I keep a spreadsheet. I've not historically been great at financial matters, which is why I got into debt. Isabel Patterson. I track all of my open accounts. Is now an expert at keeping tabs on where every dollar goes. Every open bill that I have. But it didn't start out that way. The way that I struggle with money is just credit cards are, are not a friend. She learned that after she racked up more than 25,000 in credit card debt. And Patterson is not embarrassed. In fact, she says more of us need to talk about our financial mistakes. You just need to normalize that it's okay to talk about making better financial decisions for yourself. Two years ago, Patterson turned to a nonprofit credit counseling service. She's now just a few months away from paying off all her creditors. How does that feel? Amazing. But not everyone has a positive experience like Patterson, especially right now with millions of Americans drowning in debt. Multiple government agencies and the BBB are warning consumers to be careful when reaching out to the debt relief industry. A new report by the Better Business Bureau finds some companies fail to deliver on big promises. The BBB warning about a pattern of misleading and sometimes fraudulent claims with consumers making more than 11,000 complaints. Last year, the FTC went after seven companies from an alleged student loan debt relief scammer and phony debt service robocalls to a bogus credit repair scheme. Do you all worry? about scammers. Oh yeah, we I, I get calls all day long from folks that are like, you know, I got a phone call from this agency and they want to help me with my debt. Marla Puckett is a certified credit counselor with Money Management International, the place Isabel Patterson turned to for help. We've had a 45% increase of clients coming to us from this point last year. Our national investigative team analyzed hundreds of cases against debt relief companies and found since 2005, the FTC's banned more than 400 companies and individuals from assisting with any form of debt relief. The data shows nationwide more than half a million consumers were affected by those banned companies. The federal government returning more than 41 million in stolen Money. Puckett says a lot of people filing complaints about the debt relief industry ended up using a for-profit company. They do the dispute, it drops off the credit report, six months later it magically appears back on the credit report um, and then you're right back where you started with less money in your pocket because you paid this this organization to do that for you. She says if a company asks you to stop paying your bill, that's a red flag. If they ask you for a large fee up front, red flag number two. The payment may seem lower than what you would get from, you know, a, a credit counseling nonprofit, but their fees are substantially higher. If the debt relief agency reaches out to you, that should be a warning. Ted Rossman, an analyst with Bankrate, also warns about for-profit debt relief companies. I hear those ads too about, hey, do you wanna get out of credit card debt for pennies on the dollar? It sounds tempting, but because of the credit score damage, it may not be worth it. He says be careful about groups offering debt relief or debt settlement, asking you to stop paying, hurting your credit, while they try to negotiate with the creditor. Get online to look up any debt relief group you are thinking of signing up with and see what people are saying. To make sure you're looking at a legitimate company, watch for typos, very few followers, and non-professional email addresses. For Isabel Patterson, credit counseling was a life changer. How has this helped you? Mentally, it's taken a lot of load off. It's helped me understand my own spending habits. And thanks to spreadsheets, counseling, and sticking positive notes on her wall to keep her going, she now has a clear vision of her debt-free future.